making a Dutch braided sock bun. This video is a little different and you'll be able to create a full bun and thick braid even if you have thinner hair. We will start by making the sock donut. Here I already have one of the donuts formed. Just take a clean sock in a color close to your hair color and cut off the toe cap. Then from one side, start rolling the sock all the way to the other end. If you have medium to thick hair, you can stop here. But if you have really thin hair, or if you prefer your ballerina buns to be huge like I do, then you can go ahead and add another sock onto the donut. Just pull the second sock through the initial donut and start rolling again just like we did earlier. This is what your final sock donut should look like. Now we are ready to start working on our hair. Pull all of your hair up into a ponytail and secure it with a large elastic. Center this ponytail wherever you want the middle of your bun to sit. Grab your sock donut and pull all of your hair right through the hole. Make sure you have all of your hair neatly pulled through before moving on. Flatten your ponytail over the sock donut and spread your hair around as evenly as possible. Hold all of your hair in place and secure from the top with another elastic. This is just to make it easier for us to braid along the sides. So you can start your braid wherever you like around the bun we just created. Grab a 2 inch section of hair, divide this into 3 pieces, and start creating a Dutch braid. Rotate the lowest section under the middle, and then rotate the top section under the middle. Repeat this a few times, and then we can start adding hair in. Whenever you rotate the top section under the middle, you want to also add in a piece of hair adjacent to the braid in the direction we're moving in. Whenever you rotate the lower section under the middle, you don't add any hair in. Again, rotating the top section under, you add in a piece of hair, but when you rotate the lowest section, you don't add any hair. Continue the Dutch braid around your bun until you've incorporated all of the ends of your hair into the braid. Keep braiding a little further and secure the ends with a small elastic. Now you can release the second elastic we set in a little earlier on. You should see a loose bun once you do this. Pull the end of the braid under the donut and tuck the tips into our very first elastic. If you find the step difficult, then you can just tuck it under the donut and use a few bobby pins to secure it in place. Take a few more bobby pins and secure the braid from underneath. Adjust the look to your liking and make sure you check out the look from various angles to ensure you don't have any weird bumps or gaping holes. This is the final look. 